This channel and all its videos are non-profit and for the sole objectives of educational and teaching purposes only. We hope everyone enjoy and learn from them. Hello everyone, uh, Teacher Lim here again. So um, today, uh, welcome back to my uh, channel and video once more. So for today, right, I want to uh, talk about time connectives. So uh, how uh, it is used to form sentences and hence uh, to allow students to form better or to write better uh, compositions or essays using time connectives. So, uh, uh, sorry, if I, don't, I don't know if I mentioned this before. Once again, thanks a lot for joining, joining me and my channel and video. So, uh, this, this, cha this, this uh, topic of uh, time connectives, uh, I've... I've uh, I'm putting it at the, or I'm teaching it uh, at the level of the primary three, uh, nine years old level, uh, and of course and above. Uh, as mentioned here, is for the English language, so I'll be giving you many examples of time connectives, uh, and showing you how time connectives can be used, uh, and how uh, correct or suitable time connectives can be used in certain situations or in certain sentences. So, uh, of course, as usual, credits go to uh, Google Search Engine, uh, Google Images, and this website or this web page here, which I got a very good definition of what time connectives is, or what time connectives are. Alright, uh, so according to this website, time connectives are words that join phrases or sentences together to help us understand when something is happening, words such as before, after, next, um, just then, shortly, afterwards, last, eventually, firstly, secondly, thirdly, uh, they are all time connectives. Uh, definitely, there is a lot more. There are a lot more time connectives than this that are mentioned in this website. All right. Uh, what inspired? What really inspired me to come up with this lesson or to create this lesson is this word suddenly. So students, uh, I've taught for many years. Uh, I found that students tend to use suddenly uh, quite wrongly. Uh, pardon me, the pun there. But what I meant, what I'm trying to say is that uh, many students or most students, they are they are. Time connectives are mostly restricted to suddenly, but we cannot use suddenly all the time. So we cannot say uh, suddenly uh, someone appears unless, I mean, the person magically appears or suddenly something happened because sometimes it might take a while before something happens. So it is important to use the, the correct or the proper, the suitable time connectives uh, rather than using suddenly all the time. And it can be a bit boring. Uh, instead of using just suddenly, we can use other time connectives with a similar meaning. <gasps> Pardon me there. <coughs> like all of a sudden, or in a blink of an eye, or immediately, or straight away, or within moments, or moments later. All these are very similar time connectives to suddenly. So, uh, Examples where suddenly are uh, used wrongly many times is, uh, for example, when you're growing up, you need, definitely need time to grow up. You can't say someone suddenly grew up, uh, or suddenly the clothes or the laundry were dried, um, or ready to be worn. So all this need time, growing up, clothes drying up, even cooking or preparing a meal, you need uh, time. So suddenly is definitely the wrong time connective to use. Or even completing or doing your work or your self-revision or studying, you cannot say um, you have suddenly finished it or completed it because uh, you need time to finish your work. So probably better time connectives to be used here are like uh, are things like after a while, sometime later, after some time, uh, many minutes later or quite a while later. Right now, uh, where suddenly can be used uh, correctly uh, and suitably uh, situations like for example uh, uh, a PMD or personal mobility device suddenly crashed uh, into an unknowing pedestrian this we can use suddenly or or you were in the living room or at home suddenly you saw a lizard you were shocked by it right this definitely you can use suddenly or all of a sudden for that matter or you can say while you were at home, suddenly um, the football crashed through the window uh, and you were shocked by it. 
uh, you know, uh, it was so sudden, it was so um, uh, unknowingly, you know, uh, quickly at that moment. So you were you were disrupted uh, in your activities as the ball suddenly crashed into your your home, or you suddenly had an idea, because ideas do suddenly pop up in our mind. So uh, take note of examples where we can use suddenly and we cannot use suddenly. Alright, uh, before I uh, move on to, uh, to the rest of the lesson, I want to introduce everyone to this timeline here. Uh, so uh, a timeline sh represents or shows uh, how much time has passed. So probably over here is shorter periods of time, here are long periods of time, here are even longer periods of time. So what do I mean by this? Uh, probably shorter periods of time will mean uh, within a day or less than a day, or maybe days or weeks. Uh, maybe long periods of time could be months or years, or longer periods of time could mean hundreds or thousands of years. So um, maybe someone with a different way of teaching or understanding might put weeks under long periods of time, or maybe years under longer periods of time. But I've decided to classify it this way or to group it this way. So you can see the purple ones matches with the purple ones. I mean the purple title. So uh, the green months or years rep uh, would, would be represented under long time periods or longer time periods. In darker green would be, to me, it will mean more of hundreds or thousands of years. So for today's Time Connectives lesson, I want to focus more on within a day. And... It will be represented by this bracket so it is just within this time here so it doesn't even go into days it's more for within a day and this will be our main focus uh, for today's lesson on time connectives so time connectives to describe events that happening that happen that happen within a day or within 24 hours so now uh, besides suddenly what are the other time connectives that have the same or similar meaning so we, we can also have all of a sudden, or we can use the next moment, a moment later, or we can use within moments, uh, within a few moments, within seconds, or almost immediately, immediately, in the blink of an eye, out of nowhere. Or we could also say without warning, without any warning, or without any forewarning, or straight away, just then, just at that moment, in an instant. So definitely, uh, uh, there are more time connectives out there that has the same meaning as suddenly but I've listed as many as I could or I can remember or that I know of uh, there's the same meaning as suddenly so example here I have a picture here uh, two bumper cars suddenly crash into each other while people are having fun so these are examples where you can use the word or the time connective or the phrase uh, similar to the meaning of suddenly so now, uh, after a while, it will be more appropriate where, as the time connective suggests, after some time, so like queuing up for our food will take quite a while or after a while. So we have a while later, a short while later, so after some time, some time later, a few minutes later, several minutes later, before long, that means uh, before we have to wait for a very long time. So that's what it means by before long. But before long doesn't mean suddenly. It's, it's uh, quite some. It's, it's, it's a longer period of time than suddenly. All right. Uh, so take note of before long, uh, not long after or afterwards. Or we have several moments later, or many moments later, for that matter. After that, or after waiting for a while, all these have the similar meaning as after a while. So the same, uh, the same uh, thing as uh, suddenly. Uh, these are the time connectives that I can think of and come up with that have the same meaning as, as after a while. There are definitely more time connectives out there that has the same meaning as after a while. So after quite a while would mean uh, slightly longer than after a while. So probably waiting for a phone, waiting for someone uh, sadly or impatiently. Uh, that would fall under after quite a while of waiting or after quite a while uh, after a longer period of time has passed so the similar time connectives we have after waiting for a long while after a long while after a long wait after waiting for some time some time later after some time after quite some time or even hours later or many moments later 
or many minutes later, much time later, or even in due course. In due course also has a similar meaning as probably uh, eventually or, or in due time or finally. Okay, later that day. So you, you can see that uh, the time connective I'm, I'm teaching here today is more of within that day. So you can say later that day is really quite a long wait or later on as time passed or after much time had passed. All these are similar meaning to after quite a while, uh, the time connective of after quite a while. So as, as uh, I mentioned before, there might be more time connectives out there that has the same meaning as after quite a while. So I've come up with this many examples here first. Now, so uh, as mentioned, our main focus here is within a day, right? The time connectives to be used within a day because um, primary school level uh, English composition, usually we write uh, events, or we write a story within a day, within 24 hours. So that's why I decided to teach time connectives to primary 3 or 4 or 5 or 6 level, or even a secondary school level. Uh, time connectives that, that can be used within a day, because usually uh, the question for the composition or essay writing would be a question regarding events that happen within one day. Right, so uh, to bring this up, right, uh, shorter time periods, so uh, let me go back to the previous slide. So since this is a day, I magnified this into a day. So 24 hours a day, uh, this is what I would like to touch on or, or a single day. So suddenly usually happens uh, something that happened uh, within a few seconds or within moments uh, that something has happened. So we use suddenly or in an instant here. So after a while, we'll be somewhere in the middle and of course, after quite a long while or after a longer while or after a longer wait, will be uh, slightly longer or much longer than after a while, but of course, still within a day. So probably after a, quite a while or after a long while, could be somewhere here as well or somewhere here, really depending on what we are writing or what situation we are referring to. Alright, uh, examples of how we can use suddenly or in the blink of an eye in sentences. I was running on the pavement, the next moment or even suddenly, I found myself on the ground realizing I had slipped and fell. So you suddenly fell, you didn't even realize it. So it could be a very sudden or even painful fall. Number two, Hafiza was doing her homework in the living room when suddenly, she heard a loud scream coming from the car park at the bottom of her flat. So usually, uh, I think in real life, this does happen to us as well while we are doing our work or while, doing our work, while we are at home sleeping. You know, suddenly, uh, something happens downstairs or near our house that we hear it. Okay, that is, happens without warning. Yep, uh, number three, without warning, it started to rain where I, quickly, where I quickly went to a nearby bus stop and stood under it for shelter. So usually, the weather is unpredictable. So this is an example where we can use without warning or we can even use all of a sudden or suddenly. Okay, number four, Thomas was carrying his food when out of nowhere, a student collided into him, causing him to spill his food onto the canteen floor. So this is a very good example where someone collides into us. It's like an accident. It is uh, unknown or, or do, done unknowingly. So it is done out of nowhere or suddenly. Now, examples where we can use after a while or, or a few minutes later. Okay, number one, Joshua felt unwell during a football game. But after, but after, but after resting for a while, he felt much better. So, uh, rest is a very good example where we cannot rest suddenly and then suddenly we, we, we become better. That's impossible. So, we need some time to rest before we get better. Uh, especially when we are sick or, or we are feeling tired. Right, so this is these are really examples where we cannot use suddenly or all of a sudden. Okay, number two, Bavani was stuck at a difficult math problem where after a few minutes of focused thinking, she soon came up with the solution and answer by herself. So this is a very good example where you must look at the situation. If it's a difficult math problem, uh, you need to think after a while before you can come up with the solution. Of course, there are times where you think and suddenly you have the answer, but this is more of probably uh, questions that are easier or you, you sort of already have uh, familiar, you sort of are already familiar with the situation. 
So if I if if I've written the or if someone has written the situation as difficult math problem a difficult problem, so usually you need you need to take a while to think before you can come up with the answer, unless it's easy. So maybe you can use suddenly you had the answer or had the solution. Okay, number three, Xiao Shen and her father waited patiently for a cab, and before long, one arrived and brought them both to their destination. So this can be described that yes, Xiao Shen and her father did wait for the cab. But they didn't have to wait too long uh, before the cab or the taxi arrived to fetch them uh, to their desired uh, place or their desired destination that they, they wanted to go to. Okay, number four, Ravi ordered an ice cream and several moments later, it was ready and served to him by the ice cream lady. So uh, in this example, I wanted to show or illustrate that uh, when you buy ice cream, you need to wait for a while, it will not happen suddenly and... Uh, instead of saying moments later or a few moments or within moments, um, more appropriately or suitably, you should say several moments later. Because uh, however fast the, the ice cream lady may be, or the ice cream man for that matter might, might be, they will still need some time to prepare your ice cream and the fastest will be after a short while of several moments or many moments later. Right now, moving on, uh, the last group or the third group of uh, time connectives will be after quite a while or after a longer wait or waiting for a long while. What are the examples that we have here? There was a long queue outside the restaurant and after waiting for quite a while, there was finally a table ready for my family and I. So you can see, right, I used finally to show that after a long wait, the family finally had uh the table ready for them and they could finally have their meal or their lunch or dinner so that is after uh quite a long while and i also used a long queue to show that you know the wait had to be a longer wait than rather than just a short wait okay number two the group project was long and difficult but later on in the day we eventually managed to complete what we set out to do so i think many of us have uh, personal experience with this that we know that when we have to do a project or a group project that is set by the teacher, uh, we usually have to spend hours or quite some time at a friend's place or friend's house to do that project. So later on in the day will be a very suitable or good or very appropriate time connective to use for finishing up the project to show how much time we need to finish a group project. Okay, number three, Emma had been angry for the entire day. But after quite some time of coaxing and consolation uh, from teachers and her parents, she finally felt better. So I used after quite some time to show how uh, angry Emma was. Uh, but after much time and much effort from the parents and teachers to make her happier, she was finally feeling better. So uh, I also used an entire day to show how angry she was. So it needed quite some time, quite a long time before she felt happier and she became happier. Okay, number four, after waiting for a few hours for his brother and sister to complete their homework using the computer, or using the computer, it was finally Sean's turn to use it. So, I mean, uh, after so many days of home-based learning, everyone would have uh, felt or realized that if there's only one or two computers at home, we must, or we have to wait a long while before we can actually use the computer. So, uh, if, especially if we have more than one brother or sister or more than one sibling, uh, usually we have to wait a while or wait for quite a long while or a few hours before we can actually use the computer and start doing our home-based learning. So these are very good examples to show how you can use after a long while or time connectives that have the same, that have the same meaning as after quite a while or after a long wait or after quite a few hours. Now, uh, so I think at this point, uh, many teachers or even students or even parents might be wondering, so what is the difference between after a while and after quite a while? So I think one obvious difference is everybody can see that uh, after quite a while will be a longer wait or a longer time has passed over here. Now, let me uh, share with you... Uh, the differences that I know of between these two. Now, the uh, as I mentioned, the amount of time is a longer time in after a quite a while compared to a shorter time in after a while. 
Okay, and number two, usually there's a longer wait uh, in after quite a while, so you can use things like maybe the patient, the, the, the person or, or the character in the story became unpa- impatient or became frustrated that there was a longer wait. Uh, if you use time connectives, they have a similar meaning as after quite a while. And number three, uh, if you realize in my sentences, I tend to use expressions like finally, eventually, ultimately, uh, to use it with time connectives uh, that I've used that, is, that represents a longer wait, like after quite a while or after a few hours uh, uh, or after quite some time, you know, uh, to show that eventually, uh, finally, it was the person's turn or eventually the wait uh, was over to further emphasize or to show that the wait was quite long compared to af- just after a short wait. So of course, uh, last but definitely not least, uh, I think it really depends on how you write and use these phrases or these time connectives uh, in your phrases or sentences in your composition and essay writing. Because uh, after quite a while, or after a, and, uh, and after a while, the meaning can be quite similar. So it really depends on how you use it. But uh, ultimately, let me go back. Ultimately, eventually, the time connectives here after waiting for a long while, after a long while, after a long way, after waiting for some time, so on and so forth, these time connectives are definitely longer than time connectives that, that are after a while or has meaning of a while later, a short while later, after some time. So these time connectives here are definitely longer than these time connectives here. Alright, so I have uh, come to the end of my lesson on time connectives. So I think at this uh, time, at this date of this video, so it's about uh, 4 p.m. on a Sunday, 3rd of May 2020, where the COVID-19 pandemic is still going on, the Singapore's uh, CB or circuit breaker is still going on. Uh, I think students are still having your home-based learning or or doing your work or staying safe at home. So uh, I would like to continue to ask everyone to stay safe and take care. And uh, we really hope that this COVID-19 pandemic will be over soon and the circuit breaker will be over soon so that we can leave our house soon. So uh, well wishes to everyone. And hope you will catch my next video on my same channel. So at the meantime, uh, take care and goodbye everyone. See you.